What's up guys, my name is Joop van de Clips. Every day I make YouTube videos about crypto and stocks. And with that being said, let's get it started. I got a brand new video for y'all. For the price of Bitcoin today, 31,418. We're pretty much going sideways as you can see. And uh, the blue line is the 350 moving average. So it's basically sitting on the 300 day, 350 day moving average. And um, yeah, it's pretty much been sideways all the way and we are waiting for a leg up, for Bitcoin to go leg up or leg down. And I will turn on the signs. What I'm trying to explain to you is that uh, the big range where Bitcoin was trading was between 40,000 and uh, 28. To be more specific, it went all the way up to, all the way down to 36,000 until where we had now 31,000. What we've seen is that at this range, Bitcoin is going sideways. So it's pretty much important for Bitcoin to hold this line at the price of third, at the current price. Otherwise, we do can can go more down to find some support at the level of 28,000. Um, even though if Bitcoin was going to go was going to go sideways uh, down, it's still a good uh, sentiment for the market to create more momentum and more support downstairs. So um, we could see something like this, and then we go up. But I pretty much think Bitcoin will go a little bit further down. So with that being said, we do have to uh, consider that the time that we in is uh, 8, 18 of July and uh, Grayscale is unlocking the Bitcoin since the 13th of July. We have to be sure that we have uh, some influence on the price. And with that being said, I want to share some other knowledge with y'all. In front of you see the Dow, Dow Jones charts and it's on the daily and I'm gonna make it a little smaller. What I want to share with you guys is uh, is this chart. It's on the weekly now. I want to share this chart with you guys just to explain. So it, this major crash is because of the COVID. This crash in 2007 and 8, this, this crash, whoa. Mm. this crash was because of the Lehman Brothers, the bank, the, the, the financial crisis in 2017, when they was giving people all this, uh, all kind of mortgages. So, um, why I'm trying to sh share this with you is that we basically go into a next crisis. That's why I have a big question mark here and it says cyber attack. And let me explain why. Our good friends at the World Economic Forum have uh, explained it why there could be a big possibility for a cyber attack. A and this cyber attack will be bigger than the COVID-19 that we had in 2020, March of 2020. So they're pretty much the narrative that they are explaining why it could be a big uh, cyber attack because of the, most of the uh, internet is on the internet of things. Most of the, our devices is blocked on the internet of things. So they pretty much are telling us that it could be a big cyber attack coming ahead of us. And there also are a few branches like uh, supply chains that have been attacked. And uh, you have to figure that out on your own on the internet. There are a few articles telling about this big cyber attack. But for now, I will share this video with of Klaus Schwab. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. 
the COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance. The COVID-19 would be seen as a small disturbance. In comparison. In comparison. To a major cyber attack. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can draw and improve our in preparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. This is the video I want to share with you guys. You better be prepared because is, is you know how these you know how these big players are planning and how they do their business. So I want to share this tweet with you. Remember when senators got coronavirus briefing before the public and sold out millions of dollars in stocks before the crash last year and faced no consequence and no regulation? Then Reddit made one stock into a meme and they're talking about restructuring the whole market. So what, why, I'm share, why I'm sharing this with y'all is because the senators, they were heads up. They were getting a briefing for the crisis. So what they do, they sold all of the stocks on their top and just to buy cheaper it in. So it's the same scenario was gonna happen here. I do think we're gonna get a big crisis ahead of us, like our, like our big friend Klaus Schwab told us. So with that be said, you better be prepared because they be coming, they come. So at the current moment, the, stock, uh, the, the crypto market is, is pretty much good. Let me put this in. Put this in the dollars, the dollars, the dollars. Okay, Dogecoin 18 cent, Uniswap 16 cent, Solana 26 dollars, uh, Polygon 81 cents, ICP 32 dollars. So that's the that's the current position. So what I'm trying to tell you at this, this is the golden ratio multiplier, and we here. Chilling on the 250 moving day average. So when we were at this purple line is the 250 day moving average times three. And the three is the number of the Fibonacci number. So um, yeah, we pretty much are preparing us for another leg up. But I do think we're going to need some support downstairs. And what you can see in the previous run was that Bitcoin went up in 2017 and it had more momentum downstairs, looking for support downstairs. I do think that we will have the same thing here to break the orange line to search for some more support and we're gonna make a leg up to new price discovery. Okay, AMC. Um, I wanna share with you, this in front of you is the dark pool. Dark pool is pretty much an area where all the big investors are trading AMC and they doing this uh, behind closed doors so all the tradings that will not uh, you will not see them in the price so for now we're on a Sunday there's 9.1 billion in the position it's a minus number this number it's a minus number and I want to share what that minus number means so a positive number means that short value was higher than the buy number but this is a negative number. So that means that uh, a positive number means that the short value is higher than the buying number. That's a negative number. That means the buying, the buying volume is higher. That means we as the apes, we buy more. So every time these hedge funds try to manipulate the price to go down, we as apes, we buy more. That's one of the options that they, that, that's one of the tricks that we're trying to do just to cover their short because they're still not covered yet. So, uh, in, when the market is open, this number runs up like 100, minus 100, minus 200. That's one of the games they're trying to do just to cover their position. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, so that's one of the things that I want to sh uh, share with you guys. And last but not least, check my you check my Twitter. And yeah, what I'm trying to tell y'all is next crisis bigger than COVID-19, a comprehensive 
comprehensive cyber attack, it will bring a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, society as a whole. So I'll give you all a heads up. Be ready. Be ready with your money to enter the stock market because it's going to be cheap. It's going to be a big, big, big discount. Much bigger than the COVID-19 back in 20 March 2020. So with that being said, I hope you like this video. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.